Now, the trick is, once you've put it all, you've got all your modifications done, then you can start, start the assembly process. So, with your little right angle plate, and with your handle, take the bolt out, and put the bolt through the hole. Wide hole at the bottom, so you do that, and then you screw it in. Okay. So this is gonna be the rear part that holds the SD2 onto the handle. So, because it's a long bolt and I haven't cut it off, I'm gonna use a spanner and just turn it around a bit easier. And screw it right down and make sure you hold it like a proper pistol grip so you have got the right way around. And then you screw it nice and tight you don't want this part to come loose. You can put an anti-vibration washer in here if you want. Nice and neat and lined up. So that's the bracket ready to go. Now, after you've done the modification on the main bracket, this is where you start assembling it and putting it together. So this is how it's going to look, like that. Now, first thing you do is you line up the two holes here on the top bracket and put them in. These are the new holes that you had made. Now these little knurled nuts or screws, you have to purchase extra. Now again, you only hand tighten that up, just enough to hold in there. Okay, now you're going to put the rear part on. And this is where it gets quite clever. Okay, the trick is here, use the conventional cover plate. You're making sure, of course, there's no CF card in there. And so you assemble it like that, that's how it's going to be. And you get the normal cover and you place it on the top as if you were if you're inserting a card in. The plate actually sits in the same place, it just has this little extra plate now. So underneath it. It might be an idea to drill the hole slightly oversized so a screw in. Okay, so there you go. Screw them down. So they're in. Now, you also screw the bottom one with this hole here. Line up the hole and insert that one. So that's firm. So what you got now, looking like a radar gun, and I'll just show you closely the parts. So you've got the handle itself, got the little plate sitting up there. So you actually use the back plate to hold that one on. Underneath, you can see why there's a little gap there. Underneath is the third one here. Okay, now you've got all that assembled together, nice and firm. It's a simple case of putting the PDA on the top. It's a little bit awkward to put it on. I tend to put it on its side and you've got to open up the little frame so, so it fits the PDA closely you push these little knobby parts to hold the PDA so it doesn't slide anywhere of course you put the little cable in first so everything's nice and snug you make sure that it is seated correctly PDA sit it on to the actual bracket correctly. So once you've got that, then it's a simple case of inserting the 
USB cable the underneath of the Anabat. And there you go, you have now got a radar gun. So this is much easier to carry in the bush, particularly for hours on end. If you're looking around, you want to see something very, very comfortable, rather than the original way is wide like that with a bracket up here. I find that very difficult. So there you go. Enjoy.